I'm Bruce Eugene, quarterback for Grambling State University. Man, here it is, my last home game, last one in the hole. Hey, give me one! Give me one! Here's Eugene back to pass, getting all kinds of pressure, goes downfield for Moses Harris, touchdown, Grambling State University. I kind of got sentimental. I'm going to spill, retire my jersey. All American, all time, leading pass out. When I had Bruce, I was 17 years old. And when Bruce's dad left us, Bruce told me, he said, Ma, I'm going to be a football player, and I'm going to take care of you. And he's done that. Oh, yeah! My mother, she's the one that introduced me to the game of football. You know, she was the one that taught me how to hold the football and grab it by the threads and throw it this way. My mom, we've been through it all together. When the hurricane first hit, you know, I, I was really scared. My family, my friends, you know, they all were living there. Once I got the phone call, it was a big sigh of relief, and uh, I, I convinced them to come up here and live with me. Going home. What I gotta go home for? You going down there? You too. I'm not trying to go down there. Yes, you are. Bruce is going home to New Orleans. It's gonna be emotional for him. He may not show it much, but to see New Orleans now, he's gonna be emotional. Ain't nothing New Orleans for me. Y'all here? New Orleans is there. I, I'm not I, trying to go back to New Orleans. I still need my diplomas. I still need my trophies. I, wouldn't care I about still it. need my degree. I wouldn't care about all that. I get and another diploma. I get another degree. Oh, that's in New Orleans. That's what you want. I don't want none of that. Bruce's trophies and his degree are things I cannot replace. I need to see. I need to see. Drill. You have to be a b to be a master drill sergeant. When I ask you to do something, I just I expect you to do it. Go get me that freshman. What is she looking at me for? Okay, is my feet right? And am I doing the same thing everyone else is doing? Is my arms going right? You know, I try to make sure I'm doing right so she won't have nothing to say to me. She has to be harder on me than anybody. Why? I have no idea. Maybe because she calls me her mini me. But I see no mini in me, you know? I see an individual person, me, Eva. Eva! Yeah. When you out there, when you playing, when you doing it, mm -mm -mm -mm, you be doing like this. Mm -mm -mm, you gotta get into it. Dog, right here. Try not to make that hit on the drum. It don't matter, but you can still bounce. I won. You gonna find yourself running. I'm a crab. I understand the, the hatred that comes towards crabs, but I still deserve a little respect as a person. Eva he has to learn that she's a freshman. That's her biggest problem. She might not respect me, but she's gonna respect my authority. If you want me to respect you, I want you to respect me also. Please believe I will have respect. Well, Bruce, we're finally on our way to go to the house. At first, I didn't want to see it, but I want to see it now. Under anticipation, I will be emotionally and just not just destroyed. All right, let's get on the road. We're not stopping until we get to New Orleans. It's a five-hour drive from Grambling to New Orleans. Right now, I'm real anxious. You know, I'm just anticipating, you know, what we'll see. Just imagine all of them evacuees and everybody was just sitting on this bridge. Trying to get out. I used to be excited about coming home, but now it's like, 
You know, I know I'm going home just to see some kind of tragedy or something. What I saw when I got down there, you know, as as I got off the bridge, you know, I saw the blue tarps on the houses, and I'm like, man, New Orleans really messed up. And once I finally got around my house, man, it's bad around here. I'm like, no, this can't be. Oh my God. We got to the house, and the first thing I noticed was my car. And it just looked just so dried up and beat up. Oh. It looked like an abandoned vehicle. You know, and that was my first car I bought, I paid for. It was kind of sentimental. Before we opened the gate, you could see through, so it looked like just a dark tunnel. But when you open the door, it just was. Mama! I was real anxious to see, you know, how the house looked. Okay, let me take a, a breather before I get ready to go in here. Like, you know, here we go. Oh, it was just like devastation from the time you walked in. Mama! Man! Everything is just gone. Your life is so short. No, this can't be. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I have to pride and put my trophies up here. God damn. Bruce Eugene, third year. Old school spirit. Bruce Eugene. That was like one of my first trophies. That was one, that was your first. You just feel violated. It's like. You know, where where's where's home? You know, you've been that you've been in New Orleans for so many years. Now where do you call home? It's gone. I've been playing drums for thirteen years. I've always had a spot on the field. Shiny, she messes up a lot. She'll just stop playing in the middle of a cadence. And we're just like, that's not how you do it. I don't think there's anyone on the sideline that might want to challenge me. Oh, crab. They don't even know anything. I'm a challenger on this cadence or a certain song or something in front of the whole band just to make sure that she needs to respect me a little bit more than she does. If you're going to challenge me, you better come with it. You better bring it but no one has ever challenged me. Man, Brian, I'm about to go challenge Shiny, man. I'm going to do this. What, you mean challenge on a drum? You know what I'm saying? How we call out people, we just hit four flams on them. And throw your six up. Right. She would even have the audacity to come up to me in the cafeteria on my free time and talk about challenging. That's like a band dork. I, I'm not a band dork. No, a little challenge. I don't want to take her spot. I'm going to just make her look stupid. I'm going to um, show her that I can be better than her and that she needs to respect me a little bit more than she does. She can never, ever, ever, ever get on my level. Get on my level. <laughs> I've accepted the challenge, and it's on and popping. At first, I really was like real nonchalant about the challenge, but then I got kind of nervous. What's up, man? 
Damn. Hey, I don't know that. You think you can teach me that? Right? If I lose, I will feel like total crap. Man, you know you gotta get right. You know she coming for you, so you gotta be right. You gotta be ready. So you gotta work. I've been doing this since middle school, battling people face to face. Nobody can be shining. You need to learn a uh, bug jump. Yeah. I'm gonna go by the audience, which is basically the judges. They'll know who win. They'll tell us, really, they'll tell us. Eva thinks she's better than me. Yeah, right. Eva can never be better than me. She's an upperclassman and I'm a crab, so all eyes will divert to me. And everybody's gonna be looking like, is she gonna succeed? Is she gonna fail? Is she gonna mess up? When I saw the devastation, you know, it, it reminded me of a war zone. Like somebody just ramshacked your house and took everything that you worked hard for. Looking at it, a lot of memories, huh? Lots of memories. Whoa, I got my grambling bag right there. I was looking for. I've been done with the wind. I got some Zora pictures. Again. My baby. Normally when I come home, it would be a lot of people out. You know, the block would be jumping, but now it's like a ghost town. I hope everybody's safe and okay. It's just like having somebody in your family that's real close that has passed. And it's like New Orleans have passed. It's like a funeral. House gone. We gone. You want that person. You want it back. You want it back, you know. And I know I have to start over, but New Orleans is home. It's deep in your soul. trying to poop on me lately, so me and Shani are gonna have a little battle. Ready, Eva? Oh yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Ding, ding, let's go. She can have her fun or whatever. My throne can never be knocked off, and that's how it is, and that's how it's gonna be. It's ready to go down. The first instrument that we played was the snare drum, which is Eva's main instrument. Oh, when Shawty was done, it was my turn. I was like kind of excited because I'm like, oh, I'm about to do this so much better and everybody's going to notice it. She is about to get murdered. She won on the snare. She did a little, little arm thing, little thing like that. I was like, okay, all right. So you trying to get me, you know? I played a little game with it. The second instrument that we played was my instrument. Cause I'm like, I didn't know she could do all that. I just was thinking like, Eva, what are you seriously gonna do on some quads? Yeah. 
it, it was like taking candy from a baby. Shotty just came back and ripped Eva up on those quads. Yeah, now we on the tenor drum. Let's go, girls. This is the tiebreaker. I pushed Eva with the tenor drum. OK, you want to push? I can push, too. My cheer was so the loudest, but I'm a crab. And she's a crab! Shiny got it! I'm got Shiny it. got her! Even though she lost, I have respect for her, you know, for going out there. She didn't understand why I've been so hard on her. I explained that you're mini me. You have to be hard. You're a girl in the drum section. We did that. Who are you? I'm Big Me, and you are Mini Me. You heard me? You heard me. You got to say that. That's one of the major ways you could get respect. And I think I got a little bit of respect from that. Upperclassmen actually talk to me now, so, you know, makes me kind of special. After my mom and I came back from New Orleans, you know, I really felt bad. She left her car, you know, clothes, and really her whole life in New Orleans. That was my first car I bought, I paid for. It was kind of sentimental. Well, she's been renting cars since the beginning of the season, you know, to get here and there. Ever since the season started, she has been renting from us. After one of the, the trips that she was in, she came back and said, you know, you guys are very nice. I'm going to make you some gumbo. She came back an hour later with nothing but gumbo and, and fed everybody in our, in our organization. And for that, we want to give something back to her. Plan is, we're going to surprise Zena with this kind. Here we go. One, two, three, Mama, what you want, all weed? Yeah, you know. Get your water. Oh, I don't believe it. She's lost everything. You know, you cannot get around in this area without some transportation. Everything happens here. Everything happens here? Everything happens here. Oh, yeah. Hello, Cena. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. It's time for us to give you something back. Oh, I hit you all excited. You've always been kind to us, and you give us some gumbo too. Baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I told you, all you gotta do is keep smiling, man. Yeah. Keep smiling, now. Oh, Bruce, we gotta go. Bruce, Bruce, we gotta go. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. <laughs> It means so good to be here for something. Take your time so you can say everything tonight. What you talking about, Mama? Right here. Yeah, they were surprised and gave her a call. Oh, that's so sweet. A stranger told me Katrina be purified and to let the Lord purify everything, my soul and everything. Okay. I'll fall. I'll fall. Water Water in heaven. Water in heaven. Hallelujah, thy name. Katrina just gave me more than she took from me. Congratulations. So where we going? You know, I'm glad she has a new start and is, uh, is up here with me. Congratulations. And Katrina, you took everything, but you can't take our spirit. You couldn't take our joy, and you couldn't take our family. This experience, I would never forget. <laughs>